What do you mean to jag sideways that you understand your limitations? What does that mean for you as a Well, actor? you know, I'm, I'm only good at a few things, and I determined to do those things. Uh, I can't direct. I couldn't direct a two-car funeral. I know that. Um, I can't help anybody else be better. My only way to sort of suggest how you could be better is uh, don't suck. Just, just stop being bad. And that's not helpful, apparently. Uh, needless to say, did I, uh, Donna tell you that? <laughs> no, no, no. She didn't have to. I, I came to those conclusions long before. Uh, but watching her direct and watching how she does it, I'm even, you know, I'm redoubled in my understanding of how incapable I would be. So I recognize the things that I, I, I can do, and I have a certain skill set for. And this hasn't changed since I was at theater school. You know, I was reasonably, I could walk reasonably erect. I could speak reasonably clearly and carry the clothes. And that, if you looked in the book, was, oh, classical actor. Send him to Stratford or send him to Shaw and he'll be fine. And so I've, I've continued in that vein. And that hasn't, that hasn't hurt me. I've managed to build on that and, and make it useful. Uh, I may, You're make a master it of understatement. You know, but, but, there, but it, it's, there's an advantage. You need a certain skill set to do this stuff here. Yeah. And I said, you know, trying to wake people up. As I say, the, the part of the, that I, I wish to kind of elaborate on about the madness, um, and it takes a particular kind of person to want to be an actor anyway. And I'm not sure what kind of person that is, but I know the kind of person I am. And in the festival, on the festival stage, the intimacy of our relationship in terms of actor audience is so alive. I can see you. It's not like a big dark proscenium where it gets darker and darker as they go back and you might see the exit sign. I see people's eyes. I see how they're responding, if they're responding. I don't engage with them unless I, 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 I wish to you know, cross the, the fourth wall and I very rarely do that. I don't, I don't like that uh, in the theater as a rule. I remember turning out and looking straight at the first seat that was at my eye line, playing Hamlet, saying, you know, old men have, you know, are, are wrinkly and shriveled, their eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum, they have gray beards, and I was looking right at Robertson Davies. And I went, old men have gray beards, their eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum. I went, I gotta find someone else to look at. I can't do this with him, All right? Because it would take, it took me out of it. But that's not to say that I'm not engaged with each and every person. And I know, I can, I can sense if they're listening, if they're in tune. I, I feel it. And I, you know, occasionally I will stop if they're distracting. Where is the best seat in the house, seats in the house in the festival theater? for an audience member? There aren't any. If you're, if, if you're doing the job properly, um, there's no better seat than other. I'd be perfectly happy to be over there, but if an actor is not gonna serve me over there, <coughs> then I'm right. gonna get mad. One of the things that, that Donna does remarkably well is she forces actors to look around the house and because she, when she's directing, she keeps moving and she has her assistants keep moving and say, are you mad yet? I keep, what are you talking about? You have been, like I'm right-handed. So sometimes my prejudice is to the left side of the house. And I have to be reminded, you, you haven't looked there in 60 seconds. That's too long. So if, if, if an actor is sharing and, and, and has found an organic way to use the house, right, then there isn't a bad seat. If, if I was buying a ticket for myself and I was gonna be lazy and I didn't know if the show was blocked sufficiently well, I'd probably look at, you know, the, that part of the pie or maybe that part of the pie over, not center, because center is terrible. I mean, a lot of the actors who make mistakes, they come out, they stand center, and they, they want to go too far downstage, and they deliver out. And I say, open your eyes. Have a look at what is center stage right there facing you right now. Uh, it's uh, an empty space. Right, there's stairs. There's stairs. <laughs> a big, fat, empty aisle. The people are here, and here, and here, and there. And so, you know, one has to look for inspiration in the balcony rail and all of that kind of stuff.